Hello out there YouTube and today we've got uh, all the plumbing done on this um, mega steam. It is a 513. There's the spec on that. Pressure controller with our uh, male T that we add so we can uh, check the pigtail to make sure it is um, clear. We've got water almost up to there uh, for overnight testing. We've got our drain valve and our drain hose there. Probably not the best drain hose today, but there it is. And we've got our offsets, which we add uh, so that we can add the drain valve. And you can take these plugs out and clean out any dirt. Um, it's going to be wired tomorrow. Uh, it all goes into this uh, junction box here. And got that plugged off. This is the uh, return that we did the other day. I've got a stainless steel, an uh, inch and a half stainless steel uh, nipple uh, on the return. And we've got a full port drain valve in the back. We add, we uh, either use extra heavy or stainless steel on this equalizer line. That's where we're feeding in the water. We've got a three-quarter by half bushing and a brass nipple. And let's follow that up. We've got it braced to this um, uh, dry return. There's our VXT with the manual bypass and the brackets holding it. Come around back here. And there is a backflow preventer, a... Um, iron pipe style, iron thread uh, ball valve, and a shark bite attaching it to the uh, half inch CPVC. So there, there's the drip on this counterflow main and we know it works because uh, uh, Frank uh, was upstairs the other day uh, and he uh, saw a radiator was off pitch uh, put like a quarter inch uh, at most, an eighth of an inch uh, shim underneath, and water started pouring out of there. Uh, so we know that this, uh, it didn't get anywhere near down out here because this was all open, but it started pouring out of there. So we know that, that drip works. There's your drip for the other main there. And there's the one inch there. It's going into the wet return. This is um, this is the old wet return, which is two inch. And uh, we've got a new T where we transition to inch and a quarter. And we go back, and these are the where the drips come in. And then this is the Hartford loop there. That's a um, uh, Street 45 going into uh, the T that Burnham likes to use. And there is the equalizer line there. Take a step back. This gets a cover. Uh, the oil burner has been mounted. There is uh, a, a, our front drain there. That's an um, inch and a quarter shoulder, extra heavy, with an inch and a quarter by three quarter eccentric coupling and a full port ball valve and the drain, which then can um, be sent to the sump pump there. This is our drip. Uh, we add the um, Rather than use a 90, we use a T and a plug so we can clear out any dirt. And then we have a union uh, connector here, as usual, uh, that we like to use so that this can be taken apart without it using a torch. There's the skim tapping. Again, another shot there of the supply. There's our flue. It comes out a 6-inch, and then we put a... 7 inch barometric on there for good valve authority and we got a three-story chimney um, 
transitions to seven inch goes back pretty far uh, in there uh, we uh, we uh, Frank soot backed it and uh, <laughs> pretty much filled up the that soot vac there's the other dry return I think I showed that the other day and here's another shot of our piping so it's a drop header comes out goes into the three inch this goes into the three inch and then we have the three inch counterflow mains as we discussed before so it's all ready to fire I don't think I'm going to be here for that I'm going to be on that other job which I've been videotaping um, but I thank you very much for your questions and your support and I want you all to stay safe out there and be well